important to point out here that though he's being criticized for it now, County Executive Kevin Kamenet's decision to not seek reimbursement was his to make. It was an administrative action that did not require any legislative consent. Now, Baltimore County's police and fire departments spent $257,000 helping the city during the unrest in April and in May. And last week, Kamenet's announced the city will not seek reimbursement, in part because the city's application for federal money was denied, but mostly Kamenet said because it was just the right thing to do. And today his office told us the feedback from residents has been overwhelmingly positive. Uh, we, we came with a helping hand, not with a bill in our hand. And uh, Baltimore City is our neighbor and we're here to help them in difficult times. But today, two Republican County Council members made it quite clear that they are upset with this move. David Marks told 11 News that the council has a say in the budget and should have been consulted, that the county has its own public safety needs the money could have gone toward. And fellow Republican Todd Crandall added schools and parks to that list and says he was, quote, surprised and troubled by Kamenet's decision. Over the holiday weekend, in talking with my constituents, one thing that keeps coming up is that why are Baltimore County taxpayer dollars being used to curry political favor uh, in Baltimore City? They don't feel that it's right, and that's why, again, not only the council, but our constituents are questioning this decision. Well, the city has started to reimburse the other counties. Howard got $374,000 in November, according to a spokesman. Carroll has received $41,000. And according to a spokesperson, Anne Arundel is due $426,000. And the county does plan to accept the money when it arrives. Live in the newsroom tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL-TV 11 News. Okay.